Welcome, welcome to Unseen Sports TV with your host, Coach Parchment. Today, we talk about the Mexican national team. You know, um, FIFA has launched an audit on, 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 on the team in terms of the fans that, you know, using homophobic slurs at the, at the, at the, at the games you know, played against USA and Costa Rica in you know in March so basically what happened is that FIFA you know committee announced the Mexican national team will have to play its two upcoming World Cup qualif qualifiers matches against Jamaica on September 2 and Canada on October 7 it is going to be held in an empty stadium you know playing a game without fans when you can have fans although COVID is in place but it's kind of hard taking away the fans away from the team. You understand me? And one again, Canada on October 7. Olympic tournament qualifiers. Mexican fans use homophobic slurs or chants in an Olympic tournament qualifiers against the Dominican Republic and the USA in March. And also Costa Rica. You understand? So. The, 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 the president of Mexico said that they must stop it, discriminatory, and it's moving us up, away from FIFA competition. To those who think it's fun to yell it out, I have news for you, it's not. The fund is the strongest sanction ever taken against the Mexican national team, and there might be more on the way. FIFA still investigating the incident. You know, that happened during a confederation or an, of North Central America and Caribbean Association Football Nations League CONCACAF games against Costa Rica and USA earlier in June. Right? The Mexican fans broke out in homophobic chants during both of those games, which forced officials to pause the game. You understand? And issue warning to the, to, the, to the team about their fans. Right? So CONCACAF now, they launched an anti-discriminatory campaign in March aimed specifically at combating homophobic chants but seemingly made no difference in the behavior of, Mex of Mexican fans when the game came around. FIFA announced its own disciplinary code to combat offensive chants by spectators in July 2019. According to the code, officials are meant to give one warning to spectators if offensive chants are used, but if they continue, the official must abandon the match and players are sent to the locker rooms. So you hear that now. If, 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 if there's any, you know, chants or stories about any player, the officials must abandon the match and, 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 and stop the game. You understand? So um, I think to stop this right now, um, you have to have some classes, some education classes, teaching teaching the fans, you know, about what to say, what not to do, you understand me? Because it's hard, it's hard to um, be playing a game and somebody, you know, calling you a monkey and, you know, discriminating you and racial abuse and those stuff, you understand me? So, um, I think the fans need to grow up now, you know, this is the 21st century, 21st century, sorry, and, um, we need to, we need to, we need to think wisely and do things wisely nowadays. You understand me? And that's the end of unseen sports, you know, video. People, thank you for your support. Keep following me for more news, for more reports. Yes, people, I am out.